Welcome to this how-to video. Here you will learn how to adapt the IP addresses and connection password for the use of the VPN client. A step-by-step -step description, as well as a default client configuration you will need in this video can be downloaded from the Seaprotect Digital Twin website. Navigate to the menu button in the top left corner and select Manuals and VPN from the context menu. This downloads a ZIP file to your downloads directory. Right-click the zip file and select Extract All from the context menu to extract the data from the zip file. Select a directory for the extraction. Keep it in mind to easily find the corresponding documents afterwards. Make sure you have. First, administrator rights. And that a second active, virtual, network adapter is supported to run simultaneously. To start with the configuration of the network adapter, click on the icon of the Soft Ether VPN client if you can find it easily, or go to the search field of the Windows Start bar and type in VPN client, select the Soft Ether VPN client and click Open. In the previous video, you created already the VPN adapter. Now go to the directory where you extracted the VPN files and double click on the Seaprotect Digital Twin Soft Ether Client .vpn file to import the settings into Soft Ether VPN Client. You are then asked to confirm if you want to import the VPN connection file. Accept. As next, you need to make sure that your PC belongs to the same subnet the virtual devices are connected to and that, for security reasons, you use a proper connection password. Let's start with the specific IP configuration. Select Virtual Network Adapter, VPN in the lower field of the Soft Ether VPN Client Manager and open the selection window with a right click. Then select the entry Open Windows Network Connections, which opens the current network connections of your computer. Select the network interface labeled VPN-VPN Client and use the option Change Settings of this connection above to open the settings or with right click and look for the item Internet Protocol Version 4 and click the button Properties. With the following procedure, you will set up the access to a single IP range. Select the radio button, use the following IP address and enter in IP address and subnet mask an appropriate free subnet IP address and the subnet mask which belongs to your simulated devices. In this example, the IP address 172.16.60.240 and mask triple 255.0 belongs to a subnet with a device IP address 172.16.60.60 and mask triple 255.0. Confirm the settings via the OK button and exit the network interface setting. Do you need to access more than one network? For example, the F port in the Seaprotect 5 device for IEC 61850, the J port for the web user interface, and the port E for PMU. Or, maybe you have devices belonging to different networks. The communication with several IP ranges is supported. To achieve it, you have following two options. Option 1. Define multiple IP addresses, IP alias functionality, for example, additionally 10.16.60.245 for the same VPN adapter. This is the preferred solution. Now click on the button labeled Advanced. Under IP settings, add as many IP ranges with subnet mask as required and the click OK to finish the configuration. Option 2. If you really need to separate the networks, insert as many VPN network adapters as seen in the last part of the installation video as many times as IP ranges you have and configure them. At the end, you will see as many VPN network connections in the control panel of your PC as IP ranges you define. One last step is missing before the connection can be established, the usage of a specific connection password. Consider that to be able to run this step you should be logged in the Seaprotect Digital Twin platform. Now. In the first step, go to the menu from Seaprotect Digital Twin and get the user-specific connection password in the context menu VPN password. In the second step, choose how long the password should be valid. For security reasons, we recommend leaving it as it is, one day. Note, with default one day, it will be valid for exactly 24 hours from the generation. Any new VPN connection after that time will not be established, and a new password will have to be reconfigured in Soft Ether. In the third step, use the corresponding icon to generate and copy the VPN password to the clipboard. The created password needs to be set up in the VPN client connection to enable the communication. Therefore, go to Soft Ether VPN Client, 
select your VPN connection in the upper field and open the properties from the context menu by a right click. In the right side of new opened window, you find the user authentication site. In the box password type Control v to paste the password generated in the CProtect digital twin. Congratulations! The configuration of your VPN client is ready. To learn how to activate the connection every time you want to get communication between applications in your PC and the CProtect Digital Twin watch the next video.